Hi there, Aries. This is your June general tarot reading. Um, if you, if this does, uh, if this will resonate with you and you're unsure how to proceed further, uh, please do book a private reading. I'm doing them. Uh, I have a special offer now. One question is ten pounds. Uh, you also get a bonus daily guidance and healing oracle card message. Um, you know, you can find the link how to contact me below. Uh, also, do check out my website. I'm still working on it, um, but um, weekly taroscopes are being uploaded. So see how that also resonates with you to keep up a regular track of your situation as well. I'm just going to now shuffle the original Raider Waite Tarot cards um, and see what we get for you. It will be three by three, nine cards spread or laid out. Uh, and then I will use uh, daily uh, guidance from your angel cards and uh, healing oracle cards to see what comes up. It's definitely a good uh, month for career for you. I feel like within that uh, matter, um, you, all your emotions have been, uh, you know, fulfilled. Although there may be um, other people interfering within the situation or this, um, you know, the work that you've done. Other people, there may be competition coming from other people. Um, other people may be interfering. Have your card right under the Major Arcana number 5, the Hierophant. You know, so, you know, she's pointing right uh, towards him. So whatever tradition you're currently uptaking. Um, let me just move them here for you. Um, I'll just go into it one by one, I think. But overall, uh, the main the, the the main message for you this month is that do not allow other people to interfere within your progress. Or competition to affect your progress we've got we have the knight of pentacles um at the bottom of the deck as the underlying energy therefore that indicates that this month you're being rather studious you're really researching that whatever you're um undertaking this month could be a new business enterprise a career path education your career that you currently work with um you know moving slowly but surely steadily forward to acquire uh, financial gains could indicate a new job offer coming in for you um any new financial um financial gain coming in uh with a the higher fund there um you know some type of um financial uh payment from an institution for instance maybe if you're waiting for uh, uh money for your children or um any other money regarding the council the government or if you're you've parted ways with your spouse because there were some secrets here uh you know it will go in your favor you will get that payment if that resonates with you uh, then we have at the top row we have the six seven of pentacles six of pentacles and the seven of pentacles and the uh, number five major arcana the, arcana the hierophant some of you are dealing with a taurus uh, this could be a bene benefactor this could be someone that is um above you uh whom you um gaining great insights from regarding career education knowledge whichever one it is um you know what you're feeling rather whatever you're investing in investing in you're getting back because you have been investing quite a lot into a certain situation career education new business enterprise your hobby whichever one this is you know you you've invested a great amount of effort into it and you're waiting to reap the rewards but at the same time you feel like they are coming in this month for you 
And with this card, yes, as I say, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus regarding this uh, business partnership or if they're your financier or uh, whichever one it may be. It could be just uh, someone who is showing you the way forward, someone who's very wise and is able to yield shed a light upon which uh, how to proceed forward and you're, you're doing quite great with it. Uh, second row, we have uh, Nine of Cups, Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Aries here or another fire sign Leo or Sagittarius uh, potentially could be someone who is also uh, involved within the dynamic of your work or as I say whatever speaks to you education business enterprise uh, you know could be this Taurus person or they potentially could be this uh, person that you're gaining great insights from another fire sign uh, very energetic, very bold, very passionate uh, about whatever this is, uh, this adventure that you've been embarking upon and they're shedding great light onto you or it could be potentially uh, spirituality related as well. Uh, you know, this fire sign is, um, you know, gaining some type of insights within the traditional uh, spiritual spirituality realm for you. And I feel like uh, with this five of uh, wands right beneath the seven of pentacles, um, whatever you may have been trying to acquire business-wise education, there may have been a lot of competition around or opposing forces from other people coming in, some type of conflict, not physically speaking, but, you know, other people throwing their opinions in or maybe other people saying, uh, don't do this, this is stupid, it's not going to work, you know, it could be this fire sign. Mm. Because this is also your energy. You could feel torn between which way to proceed. Maybe that's why you needed to uh, gain further clarity or advice from this um, more experienced individual. But potentially this business or enterprise hobby uh, education is uh, yielding rewards for you. Whatever you put in, you will receive back and also yielding great uh, um, emotional fulfillment. You feel, you're feeling rather emotionally content. And we have the Sun Strength and the Moon card at the uh, bottom row. To me, that just speaks that this month, um, you know, with this career matters and stuff, you you, know, you 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 gain great control over the situation, or you you know you you learn. You've been really studious. You research everything. You learn what you needed to learn, and you know you're able to you know, gain great clarity and control of the situation and know how to proceed further. For some of you, if there has been other people interfering, you greatly managed to control that situation and, you know, uh, tame the beast, you know, tame that whole dynamic of, you know, just telling other people to butt out of your business or, or, or showing by you reaping these uh, successful rewards, you have shown other people that you have, you have uh, gained great emotional fulfillment within this given business enterprise and other people, um, you know, they'll be like this lion tamed by you, keeping quiet. And with the sun card, it's like this month you're feeling rather positive, optimistic, vital. You're allowing your inner child to shine because I do feel like you are actually potentially undertaking something that you do enjoy doing. And you gain great control of it as well. <clears throat> Strength card also talks about Leo. You may, some of you may be with this Queen of Wands uh, there. Potentially could be uh, and the Sun card. Very strong Leo energies here. Some of you could be um, involved with the Leo. Uh, if we're talking about job enterprise, uh, could go either way. Could be this Leo is helping you out, or this Leo is hindering your progress. But with the Sun card being here, I feel like they are actually, um, you know, um, allowing you to uh, gain great clarity or teaching you something of importance that will. Um, you know, serve you in the long run with this Knight of Pentacles as well. Then we have the Moon card. That talks about secrecy and something being not revealed fully. There could be some gossip happening. Could, potentially could be because the Moon is situated right below the Queen of Wands. So within this dynamic, uh, there could be some gossiping happening. Or some type of secrets uh, that you may not be fully aware of. But with the sun here, it just shows that you will gain clarity over it this month. And that clarity can potentially make you rather emotionally revelated or content. If this is a relationship or you are interested in a Leo, could be Pisces as well or a Taurus. They're all situated right beneath each other, whatever speaks to you. 
this Pisces energy uh, right beneath the Queen of Wands because this is your card as well. This could be just saying that, you know, this month you're just feeling rather in your own element. You're feeling bold and energetic and passionate, but you're keeping a secret with the Moon card or something. You're, you're not revealing something to somebody. You're doing something in a secrecy that these people that are fighting for something are not aware of. But you're holding that secrecy because that will bring you emotional fulfillment whilst these other people are unaware to see it because they're just busy um, intervening and, you know, expressing their opinion because you have greatly tamed the beast. You gain great control of the situation and clarity will be regained. So for this month, I have done your love reading. I don't see much... Um, within this main spread i don't see much um romantic things happening unless as i say you involve with taurus um aries or another fire sign or um pisces sorry a leo pisces or taurus uh, if you're involved with any of those signs potentially could be like there's a lot of competition happening around them you have worked hard to build this relationship it is rather give and take and you are feeling rather emotionally content this month because you have gained some type of clarity there may have been some type of secret surrounding this individual you have tamed the beast or controlled these other people intervening and you have now gained clarity which will yield a lot of um, optimism vitality and you feeling uh, you know rather joyous and like you can release your inner child let's see what your um daily guidance from your angel card say for you this month i mean overall it seems okay you're just uh trying to uh work hard let's see what cards come out for you apologies if it will take a while to shuffle that's why i prefer to do this off camera because it's much quicker for me to just dive straight into the reading but I want you to see how I deal with the cards as well. And how I shuffle them and how they... Uh, I never pull any cards out of the deck either. There you go. Law of Attraction. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends, so invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. What a nice card. So rather, you know, keeping a secret or something not being revealed, just, uh, you know, you will gain that clarity and you will be able, so all these secretive thoughts that you may have this month regarding other people within the work dynamic, uh, you know, it's just saying that uh, give those thoughts up and rather think, uh, uh, go towards the sun energy, uh, gaining clarity, taming the beast, because these positive thoughts will bring you whatever that is that you're trying to manifest. And I'll get you some healing oracle cards. These cards here, uh, you can buy a deck from any store that supplies esoteric things. Um, these cards, uh, you know, can be used for, it's mainly to be used for the image. You can meditate looking at the image or what you can do is place uh, the card onto any body part that you may feel may need healing and that shall, um, you know, induce healing. Let's see, I just, oh, let's see what message comes up for you. Discover the secrets behind the light. Being your life, to, begin your life today. Talking about secrets. Discover the secrets behind the light. Have the sun. Moon is the secret, sun is the light. So some secrets behind the light. See how they all tie in? And that's your image for this month. I hope you enjoy it. If this did resonate with you and you shall request a private reading, please do. Uh, I will do them. I, I do like to uh, not keep people waiting and I do try to get back with you as soon as possible. Latest, you'll get your reply within 24 hours. 
uh, the contact me form is in the description box below so any queries as well if you want to tell me something talk about something any suggestions please do uh, contact me as well I'm very happy to listen to every one of you thank you so much for watching